you back to this training video and of course in this particular video we want to be looking at how to install wordpress uh, via softaculous uh, in our cpanel yes wordpress is one of the content management system that you can use to create websites yeah there are so many videos about a uh, content management system there are so many materials about it and of course, we'll always be giving you these materials that we, I mean, teach you more and more. But this training video is just to show you how do I install WordPress via Softaculous, including putting title, tagline, and login details. So let's get to the work. Right. Now, I have also shown you before how to get to your C panel. So I will not be going through that. Of course, but I will just remind you. How do you get there? Just type your domain name slash cpanel. Put your username and type your password. It logs you in here straight. Or you go through your Shilo Media um, um, uh, hosting account. When you log in, just go straight to uh, your my services. Then on the left pane, I think I showed you the other time, you will see login to cpanel. Login to cpanel. Then just log in and you are right here. Now, for this particular uh, section, we want to install WordPress. Where do I go? I scroll down. I scroll down. Just scroll down, scroll down. Then to this Softaculous Apps Installer. There are so many of them. There are so many of them. But the one we want to uh, dwell on, we want to work with now, that, that that is that we want to use to create our website is WordPress. So I click on WordPress, and of course it opens for me the softaculous. You can see there are so many things there. Don't be confused. I want to quickly admonish you that if you don't if you are, if you don't have system, use system. Your phone may not give you best experience for this. I will not talk more than that. So there are so many things here. That's not my concern for now. But my concern is that I want to install WordPress. WordPress has several, several versions. And of course, the version we want to install is 6.5.4, which was released on 5th of, um, of June 2024. So you will see install overview and the likes. So where do I go? I click on install. It's on install. I want, I click on install. And of course, uh, on this software setup, I have my uh, installation URL. Of course, your domain name would have been shown automatically. Please follow this very well. Follow what I'm doing very well because you are going to be graded and your mark is 20 marks after this assignment. So you go here, please select HTTPS column double forward slash www dot. That's what you select. To. Don't go and select um, uh, this one or this one, even though they all work. But this is one for this particular we wanted to select. Then. You select this, your domain name is already there. Just leave it like that. Then remove this WP. Remove this WP. If you leave it, at the end of the day, you will score zero. You will, if you leave it, if you don't remove it, you will score zero. So it must be that you have HTTPS column double forward slash www dot your domain name. You know my own is additionalazion.com.ng. So it must be your own. Then you move to the site settings site settings now you put a name for your site now this will be the name you want to name your you know your site your brand now my own brand now i want to call it zion zion's uh, zion's uh, news zion's news that's what i want to call it i want to call my own zion's news your own may be whatever you want to call it doesn't matter but don't worry just call it what you know your brand will give you or you want to give your brand. Okay. Then this site and uh, tagline, which is site description. Then you will put something here, uh, which follows your brand. I will just put my own news at your finger tips. So you must have something here. That will talk a little about what your site is saying. Then I finish this. Then leave all of this one. Don't worry. Just leave it. Then you come here. You change your username. 
you give it a, a, a particular username for my own, I will put um, Zion Adeshola here. Zion Adeshola. That's what I will put. Then my password, I will hide it too, so that you will not go and steal my password. So I will I will put my password there now. Okay, so I put it there. Automatically, he's saying, um, this is the email. I don't want to use this email because my hosting will not allow this email. So what do I do? I will put the info there. Info at um, adeshalazion.com.ng. Uh, your own will be info at your domain name. That's what I want to. I want us to use there. Then you will now scroll down. You will scroll down. After this, now you see. If you want to receive details of your installation, you can put your email here. For example, I can put my normal email here. Adeshola uh, Zion at Yahoo dot com. Put it there. You click install. 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 Don't forget where we started from. We selected this. We remove this. Of course, we put our site name, our site description with tagline. We put our username. We put our admin password. We change our email. Then I can put this just for me to check the details of the installation. Then I click install. I click install. Then it installs for me. It installs for me. Wow. Congratulations to me. Say congratulations. The software was installed successfully. So with this now, you have learned how to install WordPress on your cPanel using Softaculous that comes with your hosting. So I can have access to this, access to this. And of course, in the next video, we are going to look at how to access my website, both front end and back end. Thank you. 20 months is waiting for you. As we'll be doing this, I will move on from there. Bye-bye for now. Thank you.